Hi guys, welcome back to the home and homestead. Today we will be doing part 9 of a multi-part series of what to do with all that zucchini. And today we'll be trying out a new recipe together and it is for zucchini fritters. So we'll be taking shredded zucchini and combining various ingredients to make some crispy zucchini fritters and we'll be making a creamy garlic and chive sauce to go with these fritters. These can be a side dish or an appetizer or a nice healthy snack. So follow along and see what ingredients we combine to make this crispy zucchini fritters recipe today. Okay, so to make these fritters we have two cups of shredded zucchini and I squeezed them with a paper towel to get as much of the liquid out as I could. And we will add one shallot, finely diced, Next, we will add two beaten eggs. This will just help bind the fritters together. Next, we will add a half a cup of flour and a quarter cup of crumbled feta cheese. You could also do goat cheese if you like that. Salt and pepper to taste. We'll just mix this together until well combined. Two cups of shredded zucchini ended up being about three medium sized zucchinis shredded up. Now we'll form this into little patties and get them fried up in the skillet. Okay, so in a hot pan we're going to add a tablespoon or two of olive oil. And you can either use a spoon or a little scooper and you'll put your desired amount and you'll dollop it into the pan. Depending on if you want to make this for an appetizer or a side dish versus for a main course, the size of the fritters is up to you. So now what we'll do is let these cook and we'll brown on each side. And get nice and crispy on the outside and cook them through. So we'll let these cook for a bit. So about three, four minutes per side. We'll flip them over. Let them cook another three, four minutes. To continue to crisp up and cook in the middle. Okay, we'll get the next round going here. Kind of lightly flatten them. Let them cook. Okay, so those are all crisped up and cooked. Now we will make a creamy garlic chive sauce to go with them. For the creamy garlic chive sauce, we will add about one cup of plain Greek yogurt or sour cream, two cloves of minced garlic. If you're using a pre-minced garlic, that would be about a teaspoon and a tablespoon of minced chives. We just harvested these from our herb garden. And just a little salt and pepper to taste. Mix that together. You can make this sauce ahead of time so the flavors have a chance to meld. Or you can make it fresh. The choice is up to you. All right, let's head over to the fritters and have a taste. Okay, so here we have the savory zucchini fritters with a creamy garlic and chive sauce. So let's place one of these fritters over here. Add a little dollop of the sauce on top. Nice and crispy outside. The creamy garlic and chive sauce. Let's give this a taste. 
I could see this being a very nice side dish with some sort of a protein, maybe a baked salmon or something like that, or maybe made even smaller and having on an appetizer platter or for snacks. This is rather tasty and a good way, in my opinion, to take zucchini to the next level for a savory recipe. You should give this one a try. Or if you are interested in other savory recipes for zucchini, I have a number of videos of what to do with that zucchini, both savory and sweet. I'll be doing one more recipe with our crop this year of zucchini, and it'll be a sweet one, and we will be doing some canning of that. So stay tuned to see what we do with that. Otherwise, there are a number of sweet and savory recipes. You can see if there's something that you might be interested in watching today as well. well. I hope you enjoyed our time together in the kitchen. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Take care.